Hi everyone, Clayton speaking. Um, I haven't posted a video in quite a while, um, and to all my subscribers, I do apologise for that, but um, I have been incredibly busy with real life stuff, um, just work and being having the children and doing school runs and then going to work, and I have had a lot of commissions to do as well, so I haven't really had a chance to put up any videos for, so I do apologise for that. Um, hopefully things will equal out soon and I'll get back to posting more regularly um, but what I thought I'd do today is I've been working on a, um, a marbling technique that um, uses steel wool in the airbrush but you'd be able to do it with spray cans um, if you don't have access to a airbrush I can't imagine it would work very well um, with a paintbrush I haven't tried it yet but we'll see how we go I might do might do it with a paintbrush and put up a video and see how it goes but um, basically this is the effect. Now this is very much a work in progress, so you'll have to excuse some of the messy bits, but um, the way I got this technique, let's see if I can just get a little bit more light on that. Um, so the way I got this technique is I used dark green first, so the Vallejo Game Air, um, dark green, and then at about 20 PSI, I sprayed the whole canopy uh, and the, the little winglets at the back there. And then with the Goblin Green, also Vallejo Game Air, I went at about 15 PSI, and I just did almost like a, a thick kind of lightning pattern along certain parts of the canopy, um, just to sort of break up that dark green a little bit. And then what I did was I got some steel wool. This is just regular steel wool that you get for wherever I, I think I paid a couple of bucks for a big ba big box of it um, and then I just placed the steel wool over the top and you just sort of try and break it up a little bit and then you just get it as, as tight as you possibly can and then just with the Vallejo white I've got it here somewhere sorry <laughs> the dead white Vallejo game air dead white I just very lightly sprayed over the top. I didn't hammer the paint on, I just sort of ghosted it on. Um, and that's basically how I got that effect. Uh, like I said, it's not finished, I haven't varnished it yet. There's probably a couple of little scratches, but that's the effect there. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so that's the green one. And then on my Hornet, this is the first, the first attempt at it. This one here, I wanted to go for more of a, um, a bone marbling effect. So with that, I started off with the Vallejo Game Air charred brown, again at 20 psi, and then I went over, did the, the lightning style effect with the Vallejo Game Air leather brown, and then again with the with the steel wool, got it on as tight as I could, like so. And then I just ghosted over the top of it, fairly heavy on this one though, because I wanted it to be bone. I did the uh, bone white Vallejo Game Air, so that's that effect there. If it focuses, there we go. So you can see a few little spots here and there. That was my airbrush. Probably my fault for not cleaning it properly. To be fair, so that's the marbling effect. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, leave me some comments and tell me what you think. Um, again, I do apologize for not posting regularly, um, but hopefully soon I can get back into it. All right, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it, and thank you to all my subscribers for sticking with me. It's greatly appreciated. Um, all right, thanks guys. Bye-bye now.